The 2020 National Children's Month is an annual event to all Filipino children to celebrate and recognize them as the most vulnerable assets of the nation. Republic Act 1066-1 declares every November as the National Children's Month which shall be observed from November 1 to 30, 2020. The year's celebration aims to advocate of building a safe, nurturing, and protective environment for children through positive non-violent discipline among parents, guardians, duty bearers, caregivers, and teachers. Thus, the Ramon F. Magsaysay Elementary School, Talyawan District, Division of Davao City, celebrated the Children's Month with the theme, Samasamang itaguyod ang karapatan ng bawat bata sa panahon ng pandemya. For the past school year, the celebration of the Children's Month was quite different. Children were free to showcase their talents and participated in various events that were truly honed their potentials and skills. Moreover, teachers showed active participation and patiently extended their time and effort just to make sure that their children will freely come out of their shells and gave a high rolling performance. Furthermore, parents were also eager and gave a 100% support and participation for the victory of their children. The aesthetic smiles and genuine happiness turned to a bit shift of emotions, where President Rodrigo R. Duterte announced that our country was under the state of calamity because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The school and the classroom field of learners then were now an empty silence of giggling and learning children. Parents expressed different opinions and fears of how education can continue and children were also worried for they can't go to school and play outside freely. When the health emergency was declared, I was suddenly become worried for my children's health as well as their well-being as they are advised to stay at home. My question was, how will they be able to continue their education and socialize with other children if they are to stay at home? Will they be robbed of one whole year of education? However, it also came to my thought that if education will continue, I will be hesitant of allowing my children to engage in a face-to-face -face classroom setting. Hi hey everyone, my name is Kent S. Veloso. Kindergarten, maawain, in Ramon Magsaysay Elementary School. During this pandemic, I have fear that I can't go to school anymore to meet my classmates and teacher. I was really sad when COVID-19 came. Children like me are not allowed to play outside with our friends in the community and also at school. I felt lonely when I heard the news that the president will not allow face-to-face -face schooling. I thought of my friends, schoolmates, and teachers. I really miss them. I miss doing our school activities. I really hope COVID-19 will be gone soon so I can go out and play and learn in school. Despite calls on academic freeze, Secretary Leonor M. Briones declared that education must continue.
aking puso Kaya ko hawakan Inis ng aking pangarap Kaya ko without the entire help and efforts of our dear teachers. Words is not enough to uh, express how thankful we are, parents, to our dear teachers, principal of the Roman Mosesa Elementary School, and to the Department of Education to their big help. I am so thankful for the Department of Education for devising the Learning Continuity Plan. Now my children can continue their education through distance learning without the fear of COVID-19. Our very dedicated school teachers from Ramon F. Consaisai Elementary School are very active in checking out my kids in the progress of their study and in conducting school activities online for our kids and us parents. Surely, education can continue despite the pandemic. Thanks to Deaf and Double City Division. I never thought that education can happen inside our home. But with distance learning through printed modules and other means like TV and radio, I can learn my lessons in different modalities available for us. I can even collaborate with my classmates and join online school activities. Thank you, Ramon F. Mosesai Elementary School, for making all this happen. 